how can I be mindful with young people that don't want to connect with me as a practitioner? Or says, have you got any thoughts about that? That if mm-hmm. maybe the child is struggling to connect to another person, mm-hmm. and mm. well, I, I think that um, I think that's a story in it itself, really. I mean, obviously, it's always so much easier for practitioners if ch- if children want to connect with them and want to talk with them, and mm. um, it, it, it makes our job so much easier. But um, uh, just as many children find that difficult, and so I think um, a, an approach is to really be very accepting of, of that. Um, so if I've got a child that doesn't want to connect with me, I really would just accept that as it is and start to just try and think about, well, what happens around lack of connection? So I would probably say to a child, well, you know, it's really okay if you you, know, you don't want to connect. But I'm, I'm still going to keep checking if and when you might want to, because you might change your mind about that, you know, so, but it's really okay for now that you don't want to do that. And I would probably try to explore and perhaps explain to the child or young person that, you know, I, I'm there to help them have a good experience. And so it, I try to help them understand that I might explore a little bit about their situation. So I would connect, try and connect with their carers. I would talk with them about that and say, look, can I talk about how, how you're getting on with the people who are caring for you and how your day is and and how your schooling is and do you mind if I do that? And I don't mind if you don't talk to me, but do you mind if other people talk to me about, about you? So just to kind of be encouraging. I, I, I think it's incredibly discouraging <laughs> if children don't want to talk to you. It, and, you know, yeah. and it's, never, it's never personal. And, yeah. um, but it is always difficult. And I think the last thing you want to do is try and make that happen because it just makes it worse. And yeah, so it, kind of pushing the child and saying, oh, I will connect with you. I will make was, this happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm always very mindful of the kind of motivational interviewing approach to <clears throat> working with children and young people. And that is that, you know, if there's a barrier in the play, in, in place, then, you know, j- drop, drop lower but if, if if the child can't jump six foot then drop the barrier down to four foot six right okay um, yeah. uh, or you could, perhaps you could put that in meters for me i, I, I don't know but you know <laughs> i don't so, think i could <laughs> so, you know well if you can't jump high then lower lower the barrier mm. and um but always but don't let go of your your willingness to to be connected to anything that that child might want to to bring with you and so you, you you could also try whilst not being forceful but you could also try other means of communication so you may be thwarted on that but you could try so I sometimes say to children and young people well maybe you have a piece of music that you'd like to bring along that tells me about the things that you like or maybe you have a story that you know that would tell me something about you but also you know you may not want to do that that either but I think often children perhaps they don't connect because they're not used to it um, or it's not familiar to them or it's not safe for them and that people really therefore haven't helped them to 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 connect. Yeah. So they might be learning that skill of connecting and sharing their experience for the first yeah. time. Yeah, like it's they so natural for us as therapists, but it's really absolutely yeah. and it, absolutely and and they could they could be learning that. So I think the thing is not to let let go of the possibility that a connection is made. You know, one of the things I say in the book is is that and I I think it's the axioms of what's the lick, and I I never I I. I hope I'm saying that the right way, but he was a researcher and who said that, um, you know, even not communicating is a communication. Everything is a communication. Mm. So coming along and not connecting with a, with a therapist is a communication. And just to try and understand you know, what, what that is without being overly intrusive if children really aren't wanting to connect, because there may be very good reasons for that. 